guys, welcome to my July 2020 weigh-in. I stepped on the scale on July 1st, and this is what it said. One seventy three point two. So that's like what, like over a five pound loss, five point seven pounds from last month. Like uh, June was just raving success. That's the only way I can describe it. Just a success in all manners. First of all, thanks to Rashana, we did a seventy five mile walking challenge on the Nike Run app. So that was just more walking than I'd ever done in a month for years, I would say. So my exercise was really in tune. Also, I really worked on my Sundays. You remember how we talked last month about how I did good with my fasting and my eating on every day except Sunday, and that's kind of when I would overindulge in treats and things like that. Well, in June, one of the tactics that I used on Sundays was to make it a 48-hour fast. So normally what happens is my eating window would close on Friday at around 2 p.m. and I would fast all the way through Saturday and that was normal. I've been fasting on Saturdays for as long as I can remember at this point. And then when I woke up on Sunday, Sunday morning, the first thing I would be on the hunt for is Quest Bars. Like, what can I eat? What can I do? Today's my eating day. Not only is that, it's a day that I'm gonna go a little loose, go a little off plan. What's next can I find? And then I would just proceed to spend the whole day eating snacks. Yeah, I would eat my meal prep too, but in addition to my meal preps, I would have hashtag all the snacks, you know? So I thought about what I could do to limit the damage on Sundays, if you will. And my thought process was, hmm, the fewer hours I spend eating, the, the less damage I can do. It's a matter of science. Like the fewer hours I have to eat, more than likely the fewer calories that I'm gonna consume. Cause what happens is I wake up at eight o'clock, nine o'clock and I'm like, oh, almonds, Quest bars. And then by uh, you know 11 and 12, I'm hungry again. So I'm like, oh, meal prep. And then uh, by three o'clock, I'm hungry again. So I'm just like, oh, more almonds, more Quest bars. And then by seven o'clock, it's like, oh, ice cream. Well, what I did this past month was I would make it a 48 hour fast from Friday to Sunday. So whatever time I finished eating on Friday, 48 hours later, that's when my eating window opened on Sunday. So if I finished eating at two o'clock on Friday, my eating window would open at two o'clock on Sunday. Granted, there were still no rules. I could have all the Quest bars that my little heart could desire, but I really only ate from maybe two to six, two to seven. And that, I believe, was able to help me eat less on Sundays because I just had a shorter time span to do it. Like, it just, it makes sense. I did a 48 hour fast every week and it was amazing. I felt amazing. You know, there wasn't the guilt that went along with like just spending all day Sunday binging on keto snacks, you know? And clearly it paid off in my weight because like I'm at 173.2, like I am putting into the universe that uh, when I step on the scale on August, it'll be 160 something. I don't care if it's 169.9, okay? If my weight starts with a six in August, y'all won't be able to tell me nothing, okay? I do got some things coming up this month. So July 13th is my birthday, and if you watch me on my 9.30 a.m. lives on my other channel, Watch Autumn, you know the plan. I will say there will be Costco cake in the building, and so that will be the first day in like over 100 days that I go off keto. Like, I have gone keto, I think it'll be like 130 days at that point, and like, who the thunk? Like, I probably haven't gone 130 straight days keto since I started keto. So I'm just so proud of myself and I am excited to celebrate my milestone 35th birthday with some Costco cake. And so I know that I'm not gonna have any guilt. I'm not gonna have any second thoughts about my delicious treat and I'm just gonna enjoy the day. But other than that, there's no reason why I can't spend the rest of the month getting my life together so that by August 1st, I see that number on the scale. I'm also doing a 50 mile walking challenge this month. Thanks, Shelly. So I'll still be doing exercise. I'm getting back to the weightlifting. Oh man, ooh, woo. Y'all know I wore a tank top on purpose, right? Oh wait. So I'll be getting back to weightlifting. I just really am in my zone right now and that's what I want for you. I want you to get in your zone, okay? If you're not in your zone and you're not out here making yourself proud and like amazing yourself every day, take a step back and reflect and, and just be like, what do I really want in life? And am I gonna work for it or am I just gonna say that I want it but continue to keep doing my same actions? You know, like you have to work for it and you have to think about it 
But all I can say is it gets easier. Every single day you do that good habit. Every single day you exercise or you eat on plan or you hit your fasting goal. Once you prove to yourself that you can do something once, twice, three times, it just becomes a part of who you are and you don't even see it as a chore, as a task, as a challenge. And that's just how you continue to get better. Okay guys, that's all I have for this month. Like. Whenever I make myself proud, all I want is for you to make yourself proud. So if you've been doing that, comment down below, how did you do in the month of June? What are your goals for July? And let's do it, let's get this, okay? Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make meal preps on Mondays, what I eat Wednesdays, and Freestyle Friday videos. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you next month in the 160s. Then I'm gonna run around this room, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Bye.